friends in this video we shall study definite integral of a function let us define definite integral first it has a unique value and is denoted by integral a to b fx dx where fx is a continuous function in the closed interval ab and a is the lower limit of this integral and b is called the upper limit of the integral the definite integral is the area bounded by the curve y is equal to fx let us draw the curve suppose these are the two x's this is y axis this one is x axis and this is our curve y is equal to fx then integ uh, definite integral a to b fx dx is the area bounded by this curve two ordinates x is equal to a and x is equal to b and the x axis it means this reason the area under this curve between these two ordinates and x axis is called the definite integral so let us solve this we will do it as we were doing indefinite integral and then put the limits so let us suppose that integral of fx is capital fx between the limits a to b so this can be written as f of b plus c minus f of a plus c and if we simplify this we will get f of b minus f of a these two c will c's will get cancelled this gives us a fixed result thus the arbitrary constant c disappears from the result and gives us a definite integral that is why it is called definite integral because this value is fixed there is no arbitrary constant in the definite integral so let us take an example to understand the concept let we have a definite integral between limits 2 and 3 x square dx so how to get its value we will simply integrate x square integral of x square is x cube upon 3 and after that we will put the limits this is upper limit and this one is lower limit so 1 upon 3 is constant we will take it outside and now we have x cube between limits 2 and 3 so we can write we will put the upper limit first so this will be 2 cube sorry 3 cube minus 2 cube so this is half of 3 cube is 27 and 2 cube is 8 so our integral becomes this was 3 sorry our integral becomes 19 upon 3 so this is a very important topic from the competition point of view most of the questions come from this topic only if you don't know the properties do the question directly as I have done here first we will solve it by uh, as we were solving the indefinite integral and after that we will put the limits but with the help of properties you will be able to solve it very quickly so let us see how to solve questions with the properties let us discuss the properties first properties of definite integral so the first property is properties we are discussing first property is it says that if we are integrating fx between the limits a and b so this will be same as f of t dt and this is same as between the limits a and b f of u du this means if the limit is same you will get the same result whatever may be the function whether it is of x t or u okay then the comes the next property p2 this is this says that if we are integrating between the limits fx dx so if we interchange the limit suppose this is b to a then our fun integral becomes negative of the original integral upper limit and lower limit if we interchange the limits we will get the original integral with a negative sign these are the two basic properties next we will discuss an important property from this property generally questions comes in competitive exams this is property number third this property says that if we have a function fx dx 
and we are integrating between limits 0 to a. This is same as f of a minus x dx 0 to a means if we are integrating a function between limits 0 to a then limit of the function minus x is same as the this limit or we can say that if we have are integrating between the limits a to b fx dx then this function will be this is property number 4 then the function will be same as between a to b f of a plus b minus x dx sum of these two limits minus x dx these two integrals will be equal this is very important property let us see how this property is used you can see here that this p3 is a special case of p4 only because if we are having the lower limit 0 we will be having the this property same in both the cases so let us take an example suppose we are integrating a function sin x upon sin x plus cos x dx and between the limits 0 to pi by 2 so let us solve we will be using this property only p3 so this integral can be written as between 0 to pi by 2 we will be writing a minus x so this will be sin pi by 2 minus x here sin pi by 2 minus x plus cos pi by 2 minus x to make you understand the property i am writing this otherwise this is very simple directly i can say the answer of this question is pi by 4 so let us see what happens next so this integral can be written as sine of pi by 2 minus x is what this is cos x and sine of pi by 2 minus x this is cos x and cos pi by 2 minus x is sin x dx this was our original integral i1 this is also i1 so if we add these two equations what we will get 2i on the left hand side and on the right hand side you can see the denominator is same in both the cases so if we take the lcm we will get cos x plus sin x in the denominator and in numerator we will be having sin x plus cos x now you can see both the numerator and denominator are same so our original integral reduces to 1 dx between the limits 0 and pi by 2. So 1 dx integral of 1 dx is what? This is x only between the limits 0 and pi by 2 or we can write that this is pi by 2 minus 0 and this is pi by 2. So our 2 i1 is equal to pi by 2 or i1 will be pi by 4 so here we have used this property and solved this question but i am telling you one shortcut with this shortcut you will get the final result and the shortcut is if you are having the questions of this form in which we can convert them in the form of 1 so directly we can write the answer is limit upon 2 here limit is pi by 2 so directly we can say that pi by 2 divide by 2 that is pi by 4 i will tell you some more questions based on this limit let us suppose if we have integral 0 to pi by 2 we are integrating root of sin x divide by root of sin x plus cos x dx we know that pi by sin pi by 2 minus x is cos x and if we will put that use this property it will become cos x in the numerator denominator will be same again if we add this directly we can write the answer as pi by 4 whatever may be the case this is one let us discuss some more examples if this is 0 to pi by 2 and we are integrating sin raised to the power 3 by 2 x here also sin raised to the power 3 by 2 x plus cos raised to the power 3 by 2 x directly we can say that answer is pi by 4 if we have cos raised to the power 5 x 
divide by sin raised to the power 5x plus cos raised to the power 5x dx and integrating between the limits 0 and pi by 2. What is the answer? Directly we will say that it is pi by 4. Not only sin and cos. Suppose we have something like uh, this is 10 root 10x and in denominator we have root 10x plus root cot x dx directly this is between 0 to pi by 2 directly we can say that answer will be pi by 4 whenever we are having this uh, we have learnt a formula in class 10th that is cos pi by 2 minus x is equal to sin x or cosec pi by 2 minus x is equal to sec x so this pair cosec sec cos sin sin tan if it is there we can directly say the answer is pi by 4 let us see this property property p4 for this property also directly if we are not having the limit 0 to pi by 2 if we are having limit a to b fx divide by fx plus f of a plus b minus x if our integral is of this type directly we will write that answer is b minus a by 2 upper limit minus lower limit divide by 2 let me tell you one question suppose this is between 0 to 2 this is x square upon x square plus 2 minus 1 whole square okay this is so uh, integral of this function will be directly we can say that upper limit minus lower limit that is 2 upon 2 directly we can say that the answer will be 1 I am giving you one more question suppose this is 0 to a and we have root x upon root x plus under root a minus x dx this is also of our this property p5 only so by using this property uh, we can do the questions very quickly otherwise this method is always there if you don't remember the property do by this you will get the same result in the next video we will discuss another property p5 property and how to use shortcut trick based on this property so if you like this trick please share it with your friends and subscribe my channel thank you for watching